during budgeting that we were going to have a member of staff functioning as a public information officer. Hasn't happened. We agreed during budgeting that we were going to have a newsletter. Hasn't happened. The money is there for both of them. We agreed that there was, with this new thing going on with the new super duper expensive uh, internet techie contract, you know what I'm talking about. No, the, I'm not the, the, I five. No, not the county that. contract. The what? The county contract. Yeah, the, can, the county contract oh. that covers social media. Um, that's all part of it. And uh, so, concerning the communication part, number one, I'm going to ask the public to have a little bit of patience. But at the same time, I'm going to ask that the sense of urgency gets heavily cranked up on the items that we budgeted and said we are going to do this year. I believe we said we had some of these on last year too because um, that was on not this year but last year's strategic plan and it also rolled into this year's strategic plan okay so that's all I had on the communication part so it, the the employee stuff then I don't know about toxic work environment I don't know I'm not gonna apply terms on it, okay but I, I've heard multiple comments made from up here that we have this good relationship with the employees and we talk to them and they talk to us and all that. No, 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 they're forbidden to talk to us. We covered this a year ago. Y'all tried to make, make sure that I could never talk to employees. That's all on that's all public record. I'm gonna read an email. This is public record too, so if anybody wants to read it, they're welcome to. All, I was, it was brought to my attention that a staff member recently spoke to one of our city commissioners on operational maintenance concerns I think it's important to visit with commissioners and have dialogue of progressions taking place involving our departments. Saying hello at special events or informing commissioner of training you attended is encouraged. However, speaking to a commissioner on operationals on operational issues is unacceptable. This is a violation of chain of command. And I would ask that you please refrain from doing this in the future. Then the city manager replied back, I'm not going to read it, but basically reinforcing that our employees and I've heard this from literally dozens, not just a handful, are specifically forbidden to talk to us or express concerns, have issues like that. So I do not want anyone pushing out a message that that's happening because I will categorically disagree with you. And I also have the documentation showing where the employees were emailed themselves saying, don't talk to commissioners. Now, <clears throat> there is an issue of employees needing to talk to the city manager that have gone to HR. I can't validate this, I'm not involved in operations. But dozens, again, I'm going to say, because it's that high a number, are saying they're being stonewalled. They can't get good two-way conversation going. I don't know if that's the case. I'm not getting involved in that. But I am going to say that they were told not to talk to us about anything operational, their own concerns, or anything else, or anything outside of you, what you heard in this email. And that is, they are forbidden to do that, under threat. Just wanna be clear. And I wanna clear the air to any message that's been pushed out con contrary to that. And it's in black and white, it's public record, y'all can pull it. That's and, very interesting, because there have been several times when following what I thought protocol should be, I've said to Mr. W uh, whatever his name is, <laughs> the city manager. I'm sorry, this three hours. Yeah. This is, um, we haven't even started meeting. <laughs> I would like to speak to whoever on staff about whatever. He's like, why are you even asking me? Go talk to him. So that runs contrary to that. No, I'm not saying you made that up. Finance public record. Just for well, and just for the record, this was an email dated 10 17 21 and 347. And um, <clears throat> so that is, is what the employees are being told. They're copied in that email. But I, I just want, you know, there there has been things said contrary to that, that I, that's where I have a problem, because I don't want messages being pushed out about that. 
I am not. I am also not saying though that there's huge toxic work environments. What I am saying though is there is opportunities, and because we said that there's this open line of communication and everything, that's where I had to interject and say, no, no, there's not. And um, and we had a meeting about this, and you know, a couple of y'all told me that I couldn't have conversations that I was having. And I even said that those conversations are going to happen whether y'all like it or not. And, um, and I'm pretty sure you remember that. So I just wanted to clear that part of it up. The other part of the anything, you know, you know, I don't think the sky's falling. I really don't. Um, okay. I think we have opportunities though. Okay, well, I uh, just one last question. Uh, we get one more. Okay, the, 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 <laughs> can we just get the clarification on the hang up on the resident? Sure. No, Absolutely. Okay. Well, for the record, I would like to publicly apologize to Ms. Price, okay? She called me and when I was with Captain Blanchett. We had been out to A1A to survey the damage. I had that situation going on. Uh, we had the wastewater plant problems. Uh, we had flooding. Uh, we had multiple other problems. I was in the middle of the disaster. And I did not have time to talk to her about her one singular concern at that time. So if she took offense to that, I'm sorry, but I was uh, really in the middle of 50 things at that time. And I just did not have time to speak to her at that time. And if I offended her, then I'm sorry. And I'll own it. Um, that is not normally the way I communicate with citizens and residents, but at the time I was right in the middle of the storm. It was during the storm. It was during the event. Okay. Um, I think we're about ready to close that public comment. Um, is there one thing left? There, well, these were things that I thought of while comments were being made. You brought up yesterday's Cyber Day meeting. Okay, Monday night when during our emergency.